It's only going to break for two days. It's going to be hot as hell again soon. But it rained today. It rained today. It has not rained in Portland in months. It was great. It was so great. I was so excited. The headache I got because it was coming was worth it. I, my my head is a barometer. Like I know if it's gonna rain because like suddenly I have a headache and nothing's wrong. And then I'm like, I bet it's. I bet if I look outside, the rain's coming. And I look outside, and rain's coming. Um. But we were out running errands, and I picked up this lipstick because the back of the box told me this is orange. It might look a little pink in the light there. Uh, it was supposed to be this kind of orange, like this super fucking bright orange, which is like my favorite orange. And it's this shit. It's this like slightly orange, like not anything like it looks on the box shit. And like, first of all, this has happened to me so many times with orange lipstick where it's like, it's a bright orange and it'll just go right on. I've had it work once and it's from uh, Wet n Wild does a liquid lipstick and they do an orange and it's fucking phenomenal. But I don't always want to deal with liquid lipstick because like you've got to use the little applicator and just sometimes I just want to be like, let me slather on my lipstick and I can go. And like this was going to be the whole point it was like, all right, I have an orange lipstick I can slather on and go. Life's good. Um, and nope. It is yet another failure of people promising me orange lipstick and they give me fucking coral. If I wanted coral, I would go over to the Maybelline part of the aisle and buy a fucking cor coral. I don't want coral. I want fucking orange. I want my lips to glow in the dark in the middle of the night because my lipstick is so goddamn bright. Like, that's all I want. Um, and if I could just get it in a stick of lipstick rather than a liquid goop of lipstick. Uh, I will say, by the way, so this is NYX, which is um, a pretty uh, a pretty wallet-friendly brand. Not not elf-friendly, but definitely friendly. Elf is another brand of lips, uh, makeup, if you don't know. I'm not just, like, saying weird things about elves. Um, but uh, they do have a liquid lipstick called... Uh, it's, a, it's liquid latex, I think, and it, it goes... It, it's great shit. I love it. I have it in purple, I have it in gray, and I have it in black. Um, and in terms of, like, I want to put my lipstick on and then not have to put it on except more than, like, once a day. I love liquid lipsticks for that. that like, just go on and they just fucking stick. Um, but I also sometimes just want a certain color, and I'll put my lipstick on nine times a day if I have to. Uh, this is all hilarious, by the way, because when I was a teenager, I kind of played with makeup a little bit, but I was way more into changing my hair color, which clearly has not changed. Um, but, uh, partly because a bottle of dye every six weeks was less expensive than buying makeup all the time. And like, I had the caboodle with the makeup in it, but it was kind of all the same stuff for a really long time. Um, if you remember Jane Cosmetics, I think they're still around actually, but like, if you remember Jane Cosmetics from like the early mid nineties, I had so much shit from them. Um, and I had like three things I knew how to do. And nowadays I know like five things. I, I can contour my chin now and change its shape a little bit. Um, I'm still working on eyeshadow blending. That's, that's definitely a new one, but I have like a big set of makeup brushes and I have a second set of makeup brushes coming and they're all sparkly. So I'm very excited. Um, so yeah, anyway, this has been the Gail Likes Makeup episode of Gail Talk Shit. Uh, and I'm now going to go and work on other videos because this is not the only thing I do. Uh, I'm super fucking close to finishing the Errata Hate Batch 6 edits, and I'm so fucking excited. Oh my god. Uh, except that I just uh, got into Geekcraft Expo Seattle, so Batch 7 is gonna have to go uh, on the back burner while I make shit for Geekcraft Expo. But I don't have to make as much shit. So that's something. Like, actually, one of the reasons Gale Talk shit sort of faded out for a while, besides my anxiety and my anxiety, was that I was making a shit ton of product for Geekcraft Expo Portland, which happened back in May. 
and I put in it, I put in for it in January, and the day after I put in for it, realized, oh, fuck me sideways, I have to make, like, enough stock for a corner table. And I did it. And fucked up my neck. Uh, so, don't do what I do. Um, I did not sell out at Geekcraft Expo Portland. Um, I actually had quite a bit of stock left over, and that is to my advantage right now, because now I don't have to make a shit ton of stuff in two months. I have to make a list of stuff in two months, but, like, it's doable. I got this. Um, but, like, I'm super excited, because it was, you know, like I said, I didn't sell out at Portland, um, but I had a great time. I loved being behind a table, talking to people about my work, having people appreciate my work in, like, a very different setting than, like, online or in communities where it's all about, you know, stitching, you know. People are coming in because they're, they're a bunch of nerd asses, and they want to see what other nerdy people can do with their creativity. So it was a really good show for that. Um, and... So I'm working on stuff for that, and trying to get a Rat of Hate Patch 6 all tied up, and finishing a commission, and getting ready to start another commission. Um, a little busy. A little busy. And, like, I'm in a good mood, but I would have been in a great mood if this lipstick were as bright as I was fucking promised. Alright, I'm gonna go get my